Hey everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the white cloud minnow, uh, Canictes albinus. This interesting little species was first discovered in Guangdong province in southern China in the white cloud mountains. Additional populations were also discovered in Hainan province on Hainan Island. Uh, there's also a remnant population that uh, exists in northeastern Vietnam. While much of the original habitats that the white cloud minnow was originally discovered in, uh, such as the stream in the white cloud mountains, have long since been destroyed due to uh, a lot of human activity, uh, Guangdong province being in fact uh, the most highly populated province in China. Uh, the type of stream that it has been found in is a clear shallow water, clear water, shallow water type stream with plenty of aquatic vegetation. Now let's talk a bit about the behavior, color, size, compatibility, and so forth concerning the white cloud. Uh, the white cloud is a non-aggressive, small, schooling, peaceful, friendly uh, species. The types of fish, obviously, that should be mixed with are other such uh, fish that have the same sort of character. The white cloud minnow is an extremely peaceful, small, schooling species. Uh, it does make for a good community fish, and obviously the tank inhabitants that uh, accompany it should be of similar nature. The challenging point about mixing other species with the white cloud is, in fact, they should be species that like somewhat lower water temperatures as well. Low 70s, for example, is about the ideal range, so not all small species enjoy that. Uh, another interesting uh, point about the white cloud is that it's in fact an egg scatterer and a great beginner's fish. So for those that, that want to get into that breeding that type of fish, um, it's a fantastic species to start with. Ideal tank mates can include uh, other species that have prefer cooler water, as I just mentioned, such as uh, smaller danios, peaceful barbs, um, and cooler water loaches such as the hill stream loach. To support this species uh, need for schooling and, uh, and to allow them to present their best coloration and uh, behavior is to make sure to keep them in at least a, a group of 8 to 12 at a, at a minimum. Um, the, because of that, the uh, size of the aquarium or minimum size of the aquarium should really be around 15 U.S. gallons or 60 liters. The ideal tank setup for the white cloud minnow is um, an aquarium that contains some branchy driftwood, a smooth uh, pebble or gravel or sand type bottom. Uh, it's also a good idea to have some plants uh, and if you can get some heavily planted areas of the tank involved. That would be also be a good idea. Plant species such as Rotala, Ludwigia, uh, Ceratopteris, for example. Species of those uh, genuses are a good idea for the white cloud. The coloration of the species is very, very attractive. Uh, they feature a dark chocolate brown overall body color with a very interesting luminescent stripe that runs the length of their body and the fins are all a deep ruby red color, very attractive species, uh, very unique in fact. And uh, there is also a commercially available uh, golden variant, uh, which has become very common these days. Maximum length of the species is one and a half inches or four centimeters. Uh, there is a bit of a difference uh, in male versus female. Males tend to be a little bit slimmer uh, and more intense in coloration, whereas females are somewhat bulkier and a little bit less vibrant. Water conditions suggested for the white cloud minnow are a temperature range of somewhere between 64 and 74 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. Uh, the ideal range is room temperature really uh, about between 70 and, and, uh, and 74 realistically. Uh, the water current should be moderate, uh, doesn't have to, it shouldn't be too strong. pH range should be somewhere between 6 and 7.5, around neutral is fine. And hardness in terms of degrees of hardness is between about 4 and 18 dH. When it comes to feeding the white cloud, it's not a fussy feeder at all. 
Um, it is a micro predator that inhabits more the lower mid area of the water column and it prefers to feed really about mid water column to surface. Uh, it's got a small mouth so it'll accept a variety of small micro pellets, uh, smaller flakes, uh, chopped up frozen foods are you know relished as well. Things like krill, brine shrimp, mysis, bloodworms. These are all excellent things to supplement their diet with. And of particular note are the Flubal bug bite formulations that are available in micro or very small granules and, and flakes, all excellent for them given the, um, the insect protein content being very beneficial to them. In summary, we're big fans of the white cloud minnow. Uh, this fish is very affordable. It's readily available at just about any retail shop that sells fish. Uh, the color is, is really unique, as I mentioned before. That deep chocolate brown color with those ruby red fins is a great combination. It's peaceful, it's a schooling species, and it's, it's equally appealing to both aquarists that are seasoned aquascapers that like to get into heavily planted type setups, or even for the beginner that likes to experiment with breeding fish, and uh, especially those starting off, as I mentioned before as well, that want to get into egg scatters, a great species to start with. So there you have it, white cloud minnow, fantastic little uh, schooling species to enjoy for just about anybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks a lot for watching, and until the next time.